Hey guys, me again. Um, so I just got done with my first major morning track and it was really great. Um, Kathy Tyre's class is amazing. She's actually written two Star Wars novels and it's all about world building and writing speculative fiction, which is kind of what my um, stories fall into. So I'm really looking forward to finishing the classes. Uh, there is one more session, but it's not an actual lecture, and so I'm going to use that time to stick around here and work on some of my writing, uh, redo my second chapter, and just kind of rework some things. Because um, I'm really tired, because I didn't sleep well, and they're just going to go other over other samples of work and stuff. Um, so yeah, and I just found out that my manuscript that I submitted to the one agent who was interested is will be ready to be picked up today after lunch. So I'm excited, I'm nervous because basically there was only this agent and one other that have shown any interest at all, but that's okay because, you know, God brought me here for a purpose. It's all working out okay. And no matter what happens, it's gonna be great. Um, it might be hard, but it's still going to be for my benefit. So I'm just trying to keep that in mind. I thought um, I would show you our room a little bit. My roommate is still at her class, so it's just me. Um, and I still haven't figured out how to switch perspective on the camera. So um, I'm just going to kind of try and do it this way. So we have, well, on either side of the ends of the room, we have the closet, these big, nice closets that have lots of storage. Ooh. Um so there's uh, drawers underneath, right there. Then we have this nice little um, kind of mini sink area. Sorry, it's really hard to do this <laughs> because I can't see what I'm doing. It's like a little sink, there we go, with a mirror. Um, the bathroom is actually a communal bathroom, kind of like a dorm style. So this is like for washing our face and brushing our teeth, but the bathrooms and showers are down the hall. And then we have another closet and the door. And then these are our beds. They're kind of hard and squeaky, but they do the job. So that's my friend Sarah's bed. And that's my bed over there with the Disney pillowcase and all that. And then we have this really nice desk in the middle. Ugh, there we go. Um, where I'm going to be sitting in just a few minutes and working on my writing. So we also have a very nice view from our window. It's a little bit foggy right now, but lots of beautiful trees. The dining hall is just right across the street, so it's really nice. You don't have to walk very far. So that's my room. Um, and I'm looking at the wrong, I always forget to look over there. Yeah, so that's my room. Um, I'm going to get to my writing. Um, oh, by the way, I forgot to, you guys probably noticed, I got a haircut right before I left. So it's really nice because my hair is much more cooperative than it has been. So yeah, um, that's all the updates for now. I'm going to go work on typing. Um, there is a mentoring session this afternoon as part of my major morning track, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm switching one of my other workshop classes um, to a different one so that I can kind of uh, get to know the one agent who was interested in my work. Although I will have time after lunch. If she really despises it, then I might just stick with my original class. I don't know. We'll see. But um, anyway, I'm just, oh, I'm just so thrilled to be here. Uh, it's funny because one of the things that my writing coach former writing coach had warned me of is that it's a lot of information. It's information overload and it can be really emotionally overwhelming. And she said, you know, by the second or third day, you might cry and that's okay. Well, Sarah and I both cried last night. We had a really hard day. Um, and yeah, we were both pretty emotional last night. So hopefully we got it out of our system and we'll be fine now. I actually like totally broke down crying, talking to Robin Jones Gunn after she had um, done her special speaking and I felt so stupid because I was trying to be all like professional and smooth and I just uh, but it was I think looking back I'm pretty sure it was pretty much happy tears combined with just overwhelming emotion of the whole first day experience um, but she was so sweet about it and 
just very kind and not like, oh my goodness, get this crazy person away from me. So that was nice. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's I'm so glad I came and um, I'm learning a lot. And you know what, even if the only thing from this is just learning from these incredible people who have gone before and who have done it, then that makes it worth it. So anyway, I guess that's about it for now. I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to go type my little fingers off.